Okay, fam, today I'm going to go over with y'all this book right here called Word Magic. The Powers in the Cult, Definition of Words, right? You have to understand that your words carry vibration, sound, and frequency. So with all that being said, when you're using words and things of that nature, that's why if you ever heard that saying, the tongue is mightier than the sword. This is a prime example with this right here, word magic. Now, I want to turn to this section here called the legal name game, right? So what happens is when you're dealing with different corporations, the different entities, even when you go into a courtroom, right? They have their own terminology of their definitions. So when you're dealing with these people, you ha you wanna look at the definitions of their words and what they mean, because we think they mean one thing, but they really mean something else. And I'm gonna break that down and get into it for you right here. The word legal right here, which is legal lease, Latin legal lease, right? So when you're in courtrooms, this is how they're talking to you. They're talking to you in legalese, pertaining to the understanding, the exposition, the administration, the science and the practice of law as the legal profession, legal advice, legal blanks, newspaper, implied or imputed in law, opposed to actual, right? So let me give you a prime example of what I'm talking about when they're talking to you in legalese. Now, when you turn over to this here, right? As you can see, this word right here. Understand. Now, normally when we're using this word and we asking somebody, do they understand? Do you understand me? It's basically just like, in our eyes, we looking at it as, do you comprehend what I'm saying? Basically, that's the normal way that most of us look at it. But when it comes to this, I'm going to read this for you to let you know what the courts mean. Or when you're dealing with these entities and corporations, when they're hitting you with, do you understand? Or officers of the courts or just officers in general. When you split the word understand into two words, you get the term understand. To find the caught meaning of the term, Understand, you need to switch the words under and stand around. When you do this, the term understand becomes stand under. By saying to the judge that you understand the charges, you are also telling the judge that you stand under the charges. That's the play on words on how they get you. So when you're entering into these courtrooms or dealing with these ent entities, you have to have a clear understanding of what they mean and the definition of their words. And if you don't know, ask them. Or just simply just pick up a book and read and get some understanding of what you're dealing with and how to deal with your situations when you're in situations. Again, Word magic, power of words. For example, here's another one dealing with the IRS, right? And they have their own definition of the term person. According to Title 26, Chapter 68, Subchapter B, 6671, B states, the term person, as used in this subchapter, includes an officer or employee of a corporation or a member or employee of a partnership who as such officer, employee or member is under a duty to perform the act in respect of which the violation occurs. 
So as you can see, if you look this title up that I'm reading to you, this one right here in the black bold letters, this is going to tell you the same as thing that this book is telling you, which is giving you the definition of person when the IRS is addressing you as a person and breaking this terminology down to you and obligating you to, you know, duties and responsibilities of the contract that was signed and they expect to be performed by you because you signed the contract which i talked about in one of my videos about how you um contracted with the irs and the government and how they're obligated to hold you to uh where they can make you pay taxes or arrest you for trying to evade taxes because you signed the contract but you signed that contract unknowingly and unwillingly. So just got to express that ways around that. But you want to get more into it, check out the video that I do have on this page. And as you can see, I'll show you the name of this book. Chief Justice Roberts on Obamacare and the IRS. So just food for thought, people. Just some terminologies. Just wanted to break some things down to y'all, show y'all the power of words, how, how the tongue is mightier than a sword, what they mean by that. And when you're dealing with certain situations, you have to understand their terminology and how these people are talking to you because they're talking to you and what you call legal lease. And we're thinking that these words mean one thing, but they really mean something else, which is how they're playing the game on us. And we're agreeing to a lot of these contracts and just not understanding the terminology. They're using. So just thought I'd share this with y'all. Food for thought. You want to get more into it? Check it out. I showed you the books and the videos. Showed you some of these uh, terminology of the, the words. Showed you, as you can see here, some things you can go check out and look up yourself. And as always, I'm out. Catch you on the next one. Peace.